today we're gonna go over how to use a parallel board to charge multiple batteries at the same time. So if you're just getting into the hobby, whether it's whoops or RC car batteries, you have one that probably comes with whatever vehicle you have and you're gonna be getting more because you wanna charge more. But you have that USB stick that you plug into the wall and it takes an hour and a half, two hours. And so you're trying to look for a way to charge multiple batteries at once. So this is what, how, how would you do it with a simple um, four button battery charger. Uh, this is kind of an old school version and you connect it to a parallel board. So first we gotta do some math, not hard, but what we're, but essentially the what we're trying to do is we're tricking this machine into thinking everything we're plugging into it is gonna be one larger battery. And how we do that is very, very important as far as the math is concerned, and it's not gonna be hard. But um, this is a single cell battery. When we add two of them together, and we put them on the parallel board, it's gonna trick it into thinking it's a single cell battery with larger milliamp hours. So this is very important. When we're putting this in here, this is not going to think that it is all of a sudden a two cell battery. One cell, two cell, you would think it'd be two cells, but it's not. It's gonna be, it's gonna maintain to be a single cell battery with the sum of these milliamp hours. So normally when you charge a single battery, you plug that in, you'd be charging this battery at 0.65 amps or rounding down 0.6 amps. By using the parallel board and putting two together, you're, you basically get to charge at a higher amperage or higher current. So in this case, you'd be charging these two batteries as a single cell battery with 1300 milliamp hours in it. And so if we do four, we get 2600 milliamp hours. But again, this is still gonna be a single cell battery. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll go over the parallel board first. So this happens to be the connector style um, that fits into these holes here. And before you do this, you will need to check each voltage of battery because they do need to be the same. So they can be different by about 0.1 um, 0.1 volts per number of batteries. So if you have four of these between the, the most full one and the most empty, it shouldn't be more than 0.4 volts. But ideally, they're all within 0.1 or so. So once you do that, and you have to either plug these in individually into here and start charging to check what the current voltage is, or if you have a battery checker, you can go ahead and plug that in and find out but whatever these are, they all need to be within the same voltage. So we're gonna go ahead and plug these in here. And again, we're gonna double check the math. So these are all single cell batteries. Each of them has 650 milliamp hours. So again, we're only adding milliamp hours. This is super, super important. That's why I have to say it like a thousand times. But this is a single cell battery with four times 650 milliamp hours, which is 2,600 milliamp hours. So we go to our four button charger and we're gonna charge it as LiPo. These are actually um, high voltage LiPos, but if you're at home and you're watching this, chances are you have just standard LiPos. So we're gonna pretend these are standard LiPos, which is fine. So you go to charge and you're gonna set this to 2600 because that's the sum of 650 plus 650 plus 650 plus 650. And then it is a one cell battery or one S battery. So again, even though you have four single cell batteries, it's not gonna be 4S. This is still, when you're charging parallel, it's gonna be 1S, but you're only adding milliamp hours. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, 1S. You're gonna hold that down. It's gonna check, and then you're gonna go ahead and start. I'm not gonna continue this, because these are actually already fully charged for the lithium high voltage, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, but that's how you do it. Um, one little bonus item I want to talk about is this board. So this is actually a charge board, it is not a parallel board. It looks like a parallel board, but it's not. So this one will charge one cell batteries, and that's what these two ports are. And it can also charge a two cell battery. So this is where the balance lead would go, and this is where the power for that um, two cell battery. The two cell battery will have one lead like this, and then it'll have a second lead. So one of those leads will go in here, the other one goes in there. But since we're only charging single cells, 
you would put this in here like so. And the cool thing about this is that it's a charge board, not a parallel board. So we don't really care what the voltage is, is, is in here. It could be fully charged, well, not fully charged, but it could be closer empty, it could be closer to storage charge, it doesn't matter, because these ports are gonna be independent of one another. So even though this is 650, we can actually put a 450 milliamp hour battery into this port here, because they charge independently. Again, this is not a parallel board, so you don't need to do any math and adding or anything like that. You just stick them on at whatever voltage they are and whatever milliamp hour they are, and then you plug that in your computer or into a battery bank, and then the lights will start flashing. Uh, the ones that are plugged in will be solid, and when they're finished, the lights will turn off, and then you just go ahead and unplug them. So if this one happens to be happens to charge uh, quicker than that one, or there was you know maybe this one was already more full and it didn't have that much to charge, then once the light turns off, you can pull that out, and then this continues charging, and then this will be green, and then when that's done, you can pull this out. So again, these are in. The great thing about this is that it's a charge board, not a parallel board, and you don't have to care about milliamp hours or the voltage of each. You just plug them in, and then they finish as they go. So this is really cool. I actually ordered a new one of this that has, um, instead of just two, it has six ports. So I can actually charge um, four, five, and then another batch of batteries as well, all at one time. So that's it. Um, you may be actually you may be wondering about what says HV and LiPo. So there's a little switch here. Basically, if you're charging a standard LiPo, you put that switch to LiPo, and it will charge it to 4.2 volts per cell. Or in this case, it's only single cell, so it'll charge it to 4.2 volts. Um, the high voltage batteries will charge. The nominal is 3.8, but it fully charges at 4.35 volts. So when I'm charging this battery, I'm actually gonna put it on HV, and then it'll know to charge it to 4.35 rather than stop at 4.2. So that's it for the use of the parallel board. Um, again, you wanna add milliamp hours, never, never add the cell count. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, take care.